Now, I, I want to turn to you and I'm ask you a, a question, which is, let's assume there's some continuing improvement but in the U.S.-China relationship, but still tension, and, and particularly when it comes to setting up global rules, to what extent can middle powers create a set of rules that govern relationships among them, even if the largest economies in the world are not so actively participating. And I'm thinking of dispute resolution in the WTO, where the formal process is frozen, but there is a parallel process that has been created by middle powers, which works to, to basically govern disputes as if it was within the WTO, more or less. To what extent do you think that's a model that can be used in lots of different ways to, to govern, provide frameworks for, for the world? Um, thank you for your questions. In fact, uh, you, what you mentioned is ideal, but in reality, it cannot be applied. In fact, the US, European Union, and China, the only powers who make the regulations. Without them, it's not possible. You see, the, I participated in the Uruguay Laon negotiation in the 80s, 90s. It was de facto bilateral negotiations between European community at the time and United States despite more than 100 countries participated. But now, the landscape are totally changed, totally changed, especially with the joining of China to the WTO in 2001. So I think it's uh, uh, very important to persuade the middle powers country, the world, including Korea, Japan, if you say the European Union is a middle power, okay, the UK, Canada, and other countries to persuade both China and United States to participate in strengthening rule-based international order because the strengthening rule-based order is the only solution to their dispute. Without clear rules, they cannot make any settlement. So I think the middle powers must enhance their efforts to persuade China and U.S. respectively to honor the already established commitment and agree to the strengthening the rule-based order. Thank you very much. That, that's also very clear. So the middle power's role is not to create a framework that works for them, because from what you're saying, it doesn't work without getting the big China and U.S. into it. But they can play a major role in helping to persuade. And I, and I, I think that's quite relevant for a conversation we'll have later about climate change. You know, we're going to be having COP here in, in a few weeks. And, and the, is that the approach one has to follow also in COP? Uh